Hello and welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman and today uh, we are going to... I don't know if we're going to complete Galidia, but we are going to try to get the third lens and see what the three lenses together do in Galidia, which don't know how much is after that. Uh, well, I do, but I'm not telling. Okay, so unpausing um, before I proceed first I'm going to actually toggle sounds so it goes into my headphones where I can deal with it better anyway uh, first thing I want to do is check to make sure that I have the other two lenses on hand so we have so uh, Griznak has the crystal lens which I think is from the white tower and Lady Oakshield should have the black lens. Okay, so I have the other two lenses on hand, and I'm going to drop this whole AT&T with zero charges left while it's on my screen. Uh, so we just need to go back and get the smoky lens, I think, from the Grey Tower. Uh, which, as I mentioned earlier, we lost because the game doesn't handle all states very nicely. So I used it and then left, and then it, it basically used it up. And that didn't count. Anyway, um, briefly we're checking with the old man because uh, Lady Oakshield, I think it's time for her to level up. 536 um, hit points and up to 556 and a point of constitution. And I think that's the only person that, that's going to level up right now. The other plausible candidate is Elendor, who's 43,000 away. Pretty close. Um, maybe the end of the session, maybe next session. Uh, other people are not close. 200,000, 200,000, 200,000, 200,000. 40, there's the 42,000. Uh, our archmage, um, our first archmage, Gil Griselda, uh, will probably level up around the same time as the others. So, uh, after I accidentally load my bard, we'll quickly take a peek at the current state of Lady Oakshield, who just leveled up with her 25 constitution uh, and her 10 luck. <laughs> okay, so uh, that out of the way, I'm actually going to um, skip ahead to the point where we've entered Galidia because um, all I'm going to do is run and do the copy protection. So, see you there. And with that magic incantation of 703, uh, we find ourselves teleported to the time of Galidia. I'm now assuming, given all the heavy hints about the past, that um, uh, that, that this is the same world, but a long time ago. All we have to do is head north and west into this room at the end. I will still opportunistically fight, but I'm going to err on the side of skipping fights. If they don't seem like good time experience point. Um, balances. Why do I not detect that trap? Is my sorcerer's sight reduced? No, I just was wrong about this trap in the first place. such trap. Oop. Probably stopping to fight one Yeti is 
not good time efficiency, but... It satisfied me. So, from this location... One, two, three, definitely ended up standing on the spinner. that trap mark came from. Maybe it was a misclick. Okay, um, I should just move on. And I guess we have to solve the casting spell, the casting puzzle again, but I should remember the answer. Wolf to see hunger is an instant wolf. Hero true, but not one at all, is wind hero, wind hero. The wind, as I mentioned earlier, is a generic illusionary uh, monster. So a wind dragon is an illusion of a dragon, and a wind hero is an illusion of a hero. Oh, hero true, but not one at all, focus its attention. And here they're just going for word association of force focus. And better not be seen at all is visibility. And now, we can go off to the Grey Tower. Um, where we start in this corner, and to get to the stairs, we have to do this silly pattern uh, winding around like this. Or I suppose I could try cast teleport. I want to go one, two, three, four north, and one up. I'm trying to go to this spot on level two. And we got there, so climb on up. So I chose to land on the upstairs of level two because I didn't, I don't know. It's more likely I can teleport to level two than three, and this gets us to level three right away. Maybe I could teleport directly to level 3. It's just not usually... I don't know, I'm going on intuition. Okay, I don't want to go back down. And getting to this stairway up is pretty easy. We just go direct west and direct south. I never put down the trap that's it, that I'm detecting now, so I... I there was, a there was a trap in front, and I took two steps, and I still detected a trap in front. Now I don't, so... There's a trap here. Though maybe I set it off and didn't notice. Uh, ice bears, polar bears, polar bears, ice bears. I'll fight these. And we continue with my experiment of, can I run this master wand out of charges? The master wand with no charges listed. Only the party is somewhere over here by now, something like that.
Yeah. This shows you, of course, how useful that wand is. I've zapped the same polar bears every round from the start of combat. It's probably taken about 500 damage. Doesn't die. Eventually, my fighters get around to one shotting them. And by one shot, I mean uh, critting them for infinite damage. So all previously assigned damage is meaningless. A towering. Uh, those I find cute for the idea of a monk wearing them, but I already have one on in in my pile of trophies, and I'm not planning on using a monk, so dropping it. Okay, to the east. Actually, we're here. To the east, we can still see that trap. So uh, just a trap I never bothered to mark, or maybe I stepped on it before I realized where it was. Now that we're on level 4, the trick with this level was we had to f figure out where the broken cross was and just teleport to it. So probably I should have teleported to it from the very bottom of the dungeon, now that I think about it. East 2. Of course I'm facing... No, I'm facing the right way. Okay, now I'm going to step on an explosion to the south. Specifically here. And then I'm going to save the game. And then... Uh, step forward, try to kill some wizards. Party has faced the case with the Keepers of the Grey Tower. Now these guys, I had trouble because I couldn't farfo them, and they did a lot of damage. And I eventually won kind of by accident, um, with a lot of anti-magic casts. So we'll see. Defend, defend, bard, bring around valid seems like the only the best bet I got, which is do a little bit of healing at the end of the round. Hide. Uh, luck seemed like it increased our chance of survival versus all their spells. Anti-magic and restoration to heal us in the middle of the round, maybe. I think I got my restoration in before they hurt, did any damage. Which is not, the opposite of what I wanted. I guess I could attack them in ways that will barely matter. Here's a Zen arrow. Here's an arm's knife. More trivial healing at the end of combat. Elena can hide. Eventually she'll get up to them and can start stabbing. Uh, more luck. I'm going to try Farfo and restoration to stay alive. You know I should have cast heal instead of restoration. Um, may not matter. But heal is uh, bring everyone back to life and heal them. Well, it kind of mattered. Griselda would be alive now. Okay, fight. Uh, not attack. Uh, fight. Use. Use an arm's knife. It does way more damage than those Zen arrows. Uh, use an arm's knife. More end of round healing. More hiding. You'll be almost up to them. Um, more luck and a heal spell. Resurrect everyone and give everyone full spe full health. 
if the spell is cast at all, if Lillian doesn't die first. Okay, we got that spell off. We've done a lot of single point 300 damages to the uh, wizards, but um, unfortunately we don't get to focus our fire. So um, it's probably to different members, because if I was lining up those 300 spell point or hit points a turn multiple times, we'd probably have one dead by now. Uh, and hopefully we're going to have one dead right now, because my rogue is finally getting a chance to attack. More luck more anti-magic and let's try a far foe. Let's try pushing them away. Alina killed one. We're down to six enemy wizards. And the far foe worked. So that means we probably guaranteed to win at this point. Because I doubt they can hit us with their spells from where they are. In which case, defend, defend, barge four, hide. I'm going to cast cold on them a bunch of times. Maybe it's possible to run them out of spell point or hit points. Cold's doing 120-ish. We could try Godfire next. Fire works a little better. So at this point, I have no real decisions to make. Um, so I'm putting this the game in as fast forward as possible, and I'm probably going to double the playback of the recording from now to the end. In here, some of the mage spells do actually kill off two of the wizards. I assume some of the ones I've hit for 300 points with arms and knives earlier. Um, I don't think it ultimately matters, but it did make the combat a little bit shorter, I think.
Okay, and we're back with normal speed. I have forgotten what the message was this time we had. We had a food processor, a food garbage disposal, and La Machine. Of these three, I don't actually know what La Machine is. Um, one question though, of course, is how did we get out of here? I think I just teleported directly out of the dungeon. And maybe that's the right thing to do. It feels... I feel somehow like there should be a door out, but... Uh... I don't know. I could try all these walls. I guess we teleported in, so it's fitting that we teleport out. We keep choosing... Chronomancer to teleport, which is not correct. A port arcane. Uh, where exactly am I? I am in the east, east uh, branch of the cross. A port arcane. So one, two, three south, one east, and three down. I do wrong. Hmm. I feel like they were wrong. No, I was wrong. I was not thinking I was here, but I was here, so. One north of the entryway. No big deal. Uh, ye wait. <laughs> Every, each side is going to say passageway. So this side's the Great Tower side. Yes. This also says Grey Tower. Okay, but we're, we're in the Ice Keep this time. That is confusing. It asks you if you want to go back before you know where you are. Okay, so I want one, two, three, four to the east. This complicated thing about slabs of marble, marble and discs and discs and discs from above and laid on the things and rings. Uh, the gold plug sits in the center of it and reeks of magic. Light from above falls directly onto the disc from a silver disc, not the one below, in the ceiling. Carved into the stone, assuming it's the marble stat marble plinth or pedestal or whatever it is, above the gold disc. That, that's confusing because the gold disc is in the marble, so... What is this stone? You see three overlapping circles. One arrow points to each, from each circle points towards the castle's towers. And they're sitting there empty. And so my response is use the crystal lens. And now the crystal circle is occupied. And then we're gonna move, use the smoky lens. And the smoky circle is occupied and then we're going to use the black lens. The marble platform slowly slips aside and reveals some stairs. A passageway that leads into unknown depths is here. Do you wish to take it? Yes, although I do not know how to represent this special passageway that appears in solving a puzzle. I may just choose to not do so and remember that there's such a thing. Although, I do wonder, what the heck is this? There's a note with no text. Guess that was an error. Okay, uh, taking the passageway. And we get a long stairway leading up to the ice keep is here. Do you wish to take it? I'm gonna say no and then Bard Song, and then check the auto map. Check, check the auto map. Uh, huh. This looks like we're two from the northwest corner. And I have no 
idea what the size of this dungeon is. Well, I have an idea, say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across, maybe? Something like that. But we're in the ice dungeon. Uh, set up. I'm gonna just start with... I'm gonna start with 10 by 10. further set up, we can't use the grid axes because, again, our origin is not aligned with the major grid. Okay. Stairs up. Wall to the east. Looks like wall to north and south, too. Hmm. Two... Oh, I'm always doing that. To the west. Um, we can already sense more stairs. Uh, those could be right in front of us, but I'm going to bet they're the uh, opposite corner over here on the wraparound detection. Oh, a message. Massage. But, but what, what, where's the... Where's the message icon? Thank you. Unlike the rest of the castle, the dungeon gives m mute evidence of the invasion's fierce fighting. Debris is scattered about, and bodies lie encased in icy coffins. Okay, just took a moment to type that. I'm gonna... I'm thinking that this... Icy coffins is a figurative sense, like they are frozen. That makes them encased in icy coffins. Rather than someone constructed a lot of coffins made out of ice. Which is possible, um, but then I would think that we were in some land of ice golems. Okay, so facing forward, we can sense stairs, and now a quiet zone. So presumably over here, there's stairs, and then some form of quiet afterwards. So this is a this is a doorway to the south, not a wall. What are we fighting? Because I'm not looking at that part of the screen right now. Uh, three ice bears, totally killable. Why am I missing a few hit points? Probably the gray tower. Oh yeah, and the gray tower. Because eh, I don't know. Maybe the gray tower. was worth less, fewer experience points than I had expected. Okay, I'm gonna watch my hit points more carefully while I wander around here. Nope. No hit point drain. Did 
we detect... Hmm. Can we see a spinner from here? Nope. No, no spinner there. So, we can detect the spinner from here, but not here. So, it is... Spinner, spinner, spinner. One, two, three. Because this could not detect it. Leave. Still couldn't detect stuff. Oh. I am not standing where I thought I was, but it doesn't matter. Now I'm standing where I meant to be on the map. Spinner to the south. Darkness here, which means we can't corroborate this spinner location. I think there was a door here. Oh, and look at that, my compass fell off. Definitely standing on a spell point drain. I think that's the shape of the hallway. Um, might be interesting to see what a great laze wraith does, but I don't want to play with three sleep mages. Oh, is, is this spot a spell point drain too? I think I just saw it spell drain my spell points. I think I just saw that happen. No, I was wrong. Okay. Good. Uh, to the south, we have a trap. Stop. Stop. Trap somewhere. Um... To the east, we can detect our silence and the stairs. Uh, that we can already detect the stairs means this world is smaller than I thought. Yeah, it's nine across, not ten across. Okay. So where's the custom? Nine by nine, maybe? There's no guarantee it's square. Just guessing for now. Um, and the silence is on this square. and the stairs down are presumably here. Uh, to the south, we have a trap and a spells waiver. The north, nothing. Oh, I made... Okay, uh, I my, my map is misaligned now that I made the 9 by 9 smaller. I took it off the top. Uh, I'm also going to start... Um, putting down coordinates. This is zero. This is one, two, three, four, five. We're at four east, and we get up to two west. Meanwhile, north south, we have zero, and one, two, three, four, five, and that's as far as I'm going to go for now because. As I mentioned, I'm not guaranteed that it's square, so the end might move. The furthest extent south may move. Okay, so trap waiver, trap and waiver turned into trap waiver in something, which means there's a something here. 
looking west, we see two doors. Looking east, a wall. I didn't check south, or I didn't think about it when I was looking at it. Okay, so the unknown trap in three positions here is not in this location. Cult mages, glacier golems, sleep mate. Oh, too many mages. Okay, facing south from this location is another something. something and a waiver because I don't think we noticed either of those from up here but I'm a little uncertain because uh, you know I tend to be in a hurry once I'm on a spell drain zone okay so I'm just wrong and the spell drain or the anti-magic is immediate if not more than that Trying to cast a spell. Casts. Come, come, come on. No. <laughs> it was like, cast a spell. Do you want to play a bard song? No. Cast a spell. Do you want it? No. Okay, sorry. Time's up. You didn't cast a spell in time. It's time for a random encounter. Okay, so. This location is also anti magic. Which way I'm facing. Okay, that was north. West is a solid wall. East is a solid wall. Go north again. The harmonic jam too. Okay, I'm gonna use the stupid approach of just walking into the trap to figure out where it is. Okay, it's not here. Spells waiver message. Bearish. And an odd. Which is similarly bearish. I'm going to disarm this trap because I think I know where it is. I don't feel the need to set it off. This way, we've got a trap and spells and odd. I guess I'm gonna put them out here because they could be any of those three. To the south, we have something. West, we have spell waiver. Both of those, we think we already know where they are. So, this is anti-magic. If I turn east, I'm wondering whether I can cast Sorcerer's Sight and get a momentary glimpse of what's over there. No. So, this is also anti-magic, and it 
definitely was trapped. Let's stop worrying about the location of that. And... This one, too. And this... They may, um, still be over there, but I don't have a reason to believe they're over there now. And having no mark on the map doesn't try to convince myself that I know anything. It simply doesn't record the presence of knowledge. Uh, can I cut through walls down here? I was going to try to cut through this. A stout runner, and a yeti, and the yeti. No, ice bears, whatever. Out Whatever they are, I will kill them. Huh. That's not what I imagined they meant by stout runner, but it kind of makes sense now. Of course, to finish this combat, we have to kill the stout runner, and we, we have very few abilities that reach that far. So I'm going to try pulling them, pulling it to ten feet while also attacking it the same round, which worked out. Oh, and a replacement harmonic gem for the one I just used. And another one. I don't actually want that flame sword. It's not that good. It doesn't do anything particularly useful. I think it makes light. And it does less damage than infinite. CF. Or stone blades. Okay, we can't uh, warp through doors here, which I'm not particularly surprised about. Or warp through walls, rather. Can we teleport? Uh, minus one east. Yeah. This is sort of a funny restriction. You can't go through this wall, but you sure can teleport past it. Uh, that's weird how our light went out. Not from an anti-magic, it just ran out. Um,
Chantrell, I don't know what to do with you. Okay, now we should win. Arctic Mage assassinated. Greater Demon stoned. Um. Trap zapped. 4,000 experience? Uh, that's terrible. <laughs> I mean, experience is probably pretty flat from this point on. Okay, so there was a darkness square. It just didn't tell me because I was fighting. Okay, so I'm going to use my night vision, a.k.a. Mr. Automap, to find out that there are walls something like this. Okay, and we have darkness here too. This is going to be hard for me to figure out where the spinner really is. Okay, I think when I stepped out, stepped forward, it told me that there was a spinner in front. Which means I think we're out of the darkness here. Plenty of experience to level up Elendor, but not much more than that. Spells waver to the east, no spinner to the north, nothing to the west, spinner south. So I'm presuming that it's just like this. I thought before the automap was telling me there weren't walls over here, but it's it was really just telling me I hadn't seen them. That's reasonable. I just can't really tell what it can and can't see. Um, a flower for the odd square. got, once we were right against the wall, we got a notification about wavering, which means we just detected this one and there was nothing else in these two. So I'm going to be wrapping around this much. I'm going to zoom the map out a bit. Okay, Arctic Mage Yeti Glazed Wraith. Uh, I should have run. This is not going to be worth much. Once you choose to fight and start giving orders, you've missed your chance to run, in case that wasn't clear. So I'm going to run now, even though I already killed some. I get no benefit from killing them, but I get no more additional wasted time. So this way, we can detect an odd from here, but we still don't know if it's here or here because we couldn't detect from inside the darkness. The wavering is again where we already know it is. So stepping on this spinner, no more spinner messages. East, spinner and something, no surprise. West, nothing. And more nothing. South, nothing. From all the way over here, we can detect this something on the wraparound. And 
loading. I'm loading too many mages. Because in the wrong keys. Um, so from here, uh, we didn't take anything to the south to the west, we attacked something, but we don't really know about its location. I'm suspicious it's here, but I want to find out more before I start putting it down on the map. Ugh. Can I just get a fight with one group or zero? One or zero groups of mages is what I want. Okay, so, facing west from here, we do not get a something, so one, two, three, there's not a something, but from the edge we could detect one, so it's where I thought it was. There's just some room full of somethings over there. And there's no spinner here. I can detect that. I can determine that. Mm. I was actually here. From the to the east, we can detect something. Big surprise. Uh, to remove. Whoop. Okay, so from here we can't detect something. So these squares are something free, which is not what I expected. I expected a big 2 by 3 block of somethings. Um, Rhyme Lord, Graze, Glaze Wraiths, Ice Bear... Okay, there's only one group of mages here. The Cult Mages. I've seen a Rhyme Lord do anything threatening at any time. I mean, maybe they hit me for 30 damage. Something like that. They seem pretty... Wimpy isn't the right word. Speed bump-esque. A holy hand grenade. I wonder whether holy hand grenade is better than holy TNT? It hasn't got a number of charges, so I think it's only one use. Single use. Oh wait. <laughs> there were some there was a something I had from here. Um it's just that the incoming incoming fight screwed up the messages. Okay, but none from over here. So this square there is. Boom. Turn south. Detections east. A oh, real wall to the east. To the west, we have a real open space.
put the Arctic Runner, or whatever it was, in the same category of ma as mages. Things I have to cast a melee on to kill. Which is an expensive spell. A lot of glaze wraiths here. I'm going to use a armor class song. And it's done. Oh, I've been withered. I've been withered. Oh, but I can legitimately cast the Olay spell at this point. I guess she just keeps them in her pocket and is like, oh, you look old, let me throw this oil of olay on you. And poof, as we all know in the advertising, the television advertising uh, lawsuit that was brought against that company that told them they could no longer claim it reverses the aging process, it turns out it actually did. So you just put that on people and they became young again. That was the way it worked. It was actually a cover up. Um. Hide. Because, you know, that's how the rich and famous stay looking young as they actually are. And they have to wear special makeup to look like they're aging. That's, that's how it works. That's Hollywood. Okay, I don't know what I'm rambling about. Um, I am killing Glaze Wraiths. because I don't want to be withered again. I do wonder why, um, I'm going to use that lever, which will do nothing. I wonder why Lena suddenly is, like, not critting anything. Well, there's a crit. Zap. Drop zap. Drop zap. See, that's real experience points, even though it took a while. Nothing at all detectable to the west. This was a very boring room. I mean, some of the other rooms are sort of intrinsically boring. This room was intrinsically boring, and I learned nothing while I was in there. Okay, uh, wall in front, wall to the north, something in wavering, door to the south. Uh, looks like another open-ish room. Far south, we can detect the waver. No, 
nothing here. Something to the north. Nothing to the east. To the south, we can see this silence and this waver. Probably should have just fought those. I'm sort of ready to be done with the level. <laughs> Partly because I'm doing a long episode with the Great Tower, the puzzle, leveling up. Okay. Running away. North as a dead end is a wall. I don't know how she does so little damage. She's got like... Oh, let's check. I think she has like 24 strength and hits like 12 times and is 37 damage. It feels like it's below the minimum of what she should be able to do. 26 strength, yeah, I would figure that would be like, I don't know, plus 5 points a hit. And then hitting like eight times, it'd be forty damage just just from bonuses. But that may just not be how it works. So. I feel pretty certain at this point that this door leads to the stairway, and this just leads to pain. But, I'm gonna find out. So, this something is a hit point drain. As is this. And this. spot two and this too okay lots of hit point drain let's remove these something markers and put in the hit point drain symbol that I've been using okay north no odd detected here so these odds are both over here. Run. North. We're standing in an odd, so our sensory perception is terrible. Um, mage and a runner. No. Walls east and west. These walls that I can see east and west are sturdy. And now I'm out of the odds, so cast Sorcerer Sight again.
screw it, I'm gonna fight a fight because I'm tired of running from them. Uh, heal, hide, luck, melee men on the sleep mage, and melee men on the arctic mage. Maybe one of them will work. Worked on the Arctic Mage. Let's try the Sleep Mage again and an anti magic layer. Okay, so they're all in hitting range now. Well, not the golems. I lied about that. I lied. I was inaccurate. Um, sanctuary score, yes. Attack the golems from behind. I'm gonna advance. Because he might just stay at 20 feet for a long time. Okay, taking the stairs down. That's curious that I guess I shifted the map afterwards. Anyway, um, put those there. Your stairs here going up. Do you wish to take them? No. Oh, right, I forgot about this. So, um,. That I remember a bit from when I originally played. This is one of those levels that's just shifted. So the coordinates don't make a lot of sense. Um, but I do know that the furthest extent you can go on this map is 6 east. say six easily. And for the south and go is six, seven, eight. These numbers aren't gonna be useless in the, useful in the next level down, but six is our starting point. And it looks like it's gonna be maybe one one, two, three, four, five, maybe five by five. Okay, but uh, I'm going to save mapping this level for next time. Um, hopefully to see you then, while we explore more of the ice dungeon.